Well, that's all kinds of not good. All that smoke is coming from a residential area not too far from where I live. Good morning, everybody. Hope you've had a fantastic couple days. Uh, as you can tell, another beautiful morning here in the Okanagan. A little bit windy. Uh, there's some pretty significant smoke. So, Kelowna is on fire this morning. Not sure what or how bad, but there's a bunch of streets blocked off not too far from where I live. But we're not going to worry about that. We're going to get out, have an adventure, and enjoy the day. And then we'll worry about what's happening back in Kelowna. Just sitting in a parking lot all by itself, it looks massive. But in reality, it's a very small car. Okay, so that should be looking at me. And it should be able to see out the window. Coffee's important. This is about the halfway point between West Kelowna and Vernon on the west side of the lake rather than the east side which is what we're used to going up and down the highway on. So I do know that the road gets kind of rough moving forward from here but we're gonna head down there anyways. Let's see if it's changed. So buckle up and let's enjoy the rest of the adventure.
last little stretch of West Side Road here is just down at the bottom of the valley and then it winds around and ends up spitting you out into Vernon. And then you have to take the highway back. Well, the highway is boring. So we're just gonna flip around and we're gonna take West Side Road back. And then we're gonna swing by where all that smoke was and see if we can't maybe see what was happening. But other than that, we're having a great day. I'm enjoying driving the car. And I'll give you my feedback here on the next little stop we make. So I don't usually make it out this far on West Side Road. So that's why I wanted to get out here and do the whole trip to get a benchmark once again of just how good the Mercedes is so I can compare it to the other vehicles that I've had down this road, which is another Mercedes, a Cadillac, and a Ford Focus. And right now, uh, the Mercedes is leading. I'll let that open to interpretation as to which Mercedes. <laughs> Yeah, this road is way more fun than the straight, boring highway. I'm sure every one of you that enjoys driving would agree with me. Well, they got the fire out. No more smoke, so that's a good thing. We'll try to go by where it was. See what it was that was burning. I don't know if I would ever try that. Well, I think it's pretty safe to say that this is the most exciting car I've had in a long time. It is super responsive, both steering wise as well as throttle response. The gear change, uh, well I come from manual transmissions and torque converter automatics, so this is very, very, very fast. Um, you search on the internet and they say it's a little slow and it's to me it's pretty much instant uh, very cool noises I've learned that most of what I like hearing is pumped through the speakers and is completely fake noise which means we're gonna have to put a muffler on the car not a big deal I just have to find one now 2022 Mercedes GLA 35 AMG. My favorite car so far, and I've owned some pretty good ones. I mean, this feels like I'm sitting in the C63, but it drives like the Focus RS, and that is exactly, and I mean exactly, what I was after in a car. So, hopefully you enjoy this sort of content, because there will be tons of adventures to come. We're going to be getting out pretty much every day that I can and we're gonna get back to the Saturdays and Wednesday upload schedule so two videos a week during the summer once we get to the dark and rainy season we'll probably go back to the one video a week but thank you very much for coming along today please consider subscribing smash that like button and be sure you get out and seek adventure every day <laughs>